Scoring a decisive win in blue-leaning New Jersey, Republican Chris Christie won an easy second term as governor Tuesday with his bipartisan, all-inclusive pitch. Christie drew strong support not just from independents, but from women and minorities, groups the GOP has struggled with in the past. I know that if we can do this in Trenton, New Jersey, maybe the folks in Washington, D.C. should tune in their TVs right now, see how it's done. Republicans did not fare as well in Virginia, where Ken Cuccinelli, a staunchly conservative Tea Party-backed candidate, lost to Democrat Terry McAuliffe, who also ran on a message of inclusion. Throughout this campaign, I've listened to the concerns of Republican friends. While the results were mixed, the message was the same. Even in this polarized era in American politics, pragmatism won over ideology. The Virginia result should tell Republicans that when they nominate a candidate who's too conservative on social issues, as Cuccinelli is for this very moderate state, uh, then they're likely to lose. But Tuesday's closer-than-expected results in Virginia offered a warning to Democrats as well. If someone as conservative as Ken Cuccinelli, with as few resources as he had, can make a race close based on Obamacare, the Democrats had better get the website fixed. They had better make sure Obamacare works long before the general election of 2014. Sabato warns these low turnout off-year elections don't really offer a great glimpse into the nation's constantly shifting political psyche, but they can provide clues to the electorate's mood heading into next year's midterm elections. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.